Today, uncertainty and fear hovers as the world turns to something threatening in Iceland. Scientists have just announced that a deadly volcano is about to erupt and might cause mass destruction. As the earth continues to shake, it has fissured roads, shut down tourist attractions, and led the government to evacuate an entire town in the potential path of an eruption. Officials say the danger zone for the volcano had been expanded, and the eruption could happen with just a 30-minute warning. While there were thousands of tremors happening in the previous weeks, the numbers have started to decrease. Decreasing earthquakes have been seen in the past as a sign that magma is getting close to the Earth's surface. Therefore, experts believe the volcano could be ready to erupt at any moment. So how deadly is this eruption going to be? And how is Iceland preparing for it? Let's find out. Over the past three weeks, Iceland has undergone significant disturbances, with the region facing the imminent threat of irreversible damage or loss. Thousands of residents have been evacuated from their homes as a precautionary measure to safeguard their lives from the impending disaster. Currently, Iceland is in a great dilemma as experts warn that a gigantic volcano in the Reykjanes Peninsula might erupt any moment from now. This alert came directly from the Icelandic Meteorological Office, the entity responsible for monitoring the volcano's activities. While the volcanic warning is worrying, the surge in seismic activity adds another layer of concern. Over the course of three weeks, the region has witnessed nearly 2,000 earthquakes, an alarming frequency akin to experiencing more than four earthquakes every hour. Scientists have linked these recent earthquakes to the movement and spreading of magma, which is around three miles underground, meaning that magma is moving closer to the surface in preparation for an eruption. The coastal town experiencing the brunt of the heat is Grindavik, situated in the southwestern part of Iceland on the Reykjanes Peninsula. Renowned for its close proximity to the Blue Lagoon and its thriving fishing industry, this town, housing nearly 4,000 residents, is now facing imminent danger due to the looming threat of eruption. The seismic activity has caused the town to sink three feet, and the earthquakes opened up deep cracks in the roadways, closing the streets and making travel impossible for the foreseeable future. Today, Grindavik stands deserted, as its inhabitants have been successfully evacuated with the prospect of their return remaining uncertain. Icelandic Meteorological Office estimates that currently the magma is less than 1,000 meters from breaking ground, and as a result the likelihood of an eruption is high in Grindavik and could happen in the coming days, with the possibility of just a 30-minute warning. You might wonder why there is so much fear and uncertainty over this volcanic eruption, and how deadly can the imminent volcanic eruption be? First, it is commonly known that volcanic eruptions are natural disasters that shouldn't be taken lightly. This is because even eruptions categorized as minor can inflict significant damage. It is crucial to recognize that these eruptions can have local to global impacts on the environment and climate, contingent upon the type of volcano and the eruptions index. Various indicators, including the Volcanic Explosivity Index or VEI, which considers factors like eruption cloud height, erupted material volume, and eruption duration, are employed to measure volcanic eruptions. Seismometers and satellite imagery also play a vital role in monitoring volcanic activity. It is worth noting that the highest possible index for a volcanic eruption is 8, while the lowest likely index is 0. Now the question is, how big will the Reykjanes Peninsula volcanic eruption be? According to experts, the imminent volcanic eruption of the volcano is likely to fall under a VEI-4. Mind you, this is just an index lower than the famous Mount St. Helens eruption of 1980. But just in case you still think that a VEI-4 eruption is small, a real-life example of what this kind of eruption is the 1902 eruption of Mount Pelé in Martinique. The eruption began on April 27, 1902 and lasted three days. It is considered one of the deadliest volcanic eruptions in history, killing approximately 30,000 people. The eruption triggered a pyroclastic flow, a type of volcanic avalanche composed of hot ash and gas. 
The pyroclastic flow traveled down the side of the volcano at speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour and destroyed everything in its path. The flow reached the town of St. Pierre which was located at the base of the volcano and killed all but a few of the town's 30,000 inhabitants. Indeed the 1902 eruption of Mount Pele is a reminder of the power of volcanoes and the importance of being prepared for volcanic eruptions. Knowing that this level of eruption is expected from the Reykjanes Peninsula volcanic eruption, you can now understand the dilemma of Iceland as a whole. If the eruption should truly happen, there is no telling how much damage would be involved in the area. So what is being done to protect Grindavik? When it comes to natural disasters, one undeniable truth is that there are no easy solutions. But the Iceland authorities have unveiled a potentially groundbreaking plan to rescue the region from impending destruction, and surprisingly, it revolves around water. The intriguing aspect is how this could be achievable. Recently, scientists have put forward a theory suggesting a possible means of suppressing and controlling volcanic eruptions, and it's quite astonishing that the solution centers on the most basic element of life, water. In 2018, a team of NASA scientists proposed a theoretical method involving the injection of water into the magma chamber beneath a volcano to cool it down and potentially prevent an eruption. The concept, known as hydrocooling, posits that by circulating cold water through a network of drilled wells surrounding the magma chamber, the temperature of the molten rock could be gradually reduced. In theory, this process could impede or even halt the eruption by increasing the viscosity of the magma, making it more resistant to flow and reach the surface. While the concept of hydrocooling may sound straightforward, it comes with significant challenges and potential drawbacks. One major obstacle is the sheer amount of water required to cool down a magma chamber which can be immense. For instance, the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone National Park is estimated to hold over 50 cubic kilometers of magma, requiring an enormous volume of water to cool it effectively. Another challenge lies in the unpredictable nature of volcanic eruptions. Even if hydrocooling could effectively cool down the magma, it is uncertain whether it would have a lasting impact on the eruption process. Volcanic systems are complex and dynamic, and the effects of injecting water into the magma chamber could be difficult to control or predict. Moreover, there is a potential risk of triggering a phreatomagmatic eruption, an explosion caused by the interaction of water with hot magma. This eruption can be even more destructive than a typical lava flow, generating ash clouds and pyroclastic flows that can travel miles. Given these challenges and potential risks, hydrocooling remains a theoretical concept that has not been tested in practice still. In the case of the recent threats in Iceland, the authorities have clarified that this might just be a potential solution. While the water-based solution is indeed remarkable, it represents only part of the comprehensive efforts undertaken by the Icelandic government. In addition to utilizing water to address the looming eruption, the government is actively constructing a protective barrier to safeguard the Svartsengi geothermal power plant in the southwestern region. Positioned approximately 3.7 miles or 6 kilometers from the town, this power plant faces a significant risk from potential lava flows triggered by the eruption. Given its pivotal role as a source of power for the entire country, protecting the Svartsengi geothermal power plant is imperative. Now you might be thinking, why would Iceland build a power plant close to a volcano? Situated along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Iceland stands out as a captivating landscape often referred to as the land of fire and ice. The terrain boasts expansive glaciers and is marked by the presence of numerous volcanoes, totaling around 130 across 30 distinct volcanic systems within the country. The abundance of volcanoes in the region is easily explained by examining the seismic dynamics. Iceland is situated directly on the convergence of two colossal tectonic plates. The eastern part aligns with the European tectonic plate, while the western part rests on the North American plate. The interaction between these plates results in the upward thrust of segments of the Earth's crust, shaping the volcanic topography of the area. 
In essence, this clarifies why the country and its inhabitants coexist with the multitude of volcanoes that define the land. In the end, Iceland is renowned not just for its dangerous volcanoes, but also for an array of captivating attractions. Regarded as one of the best locations globally to witness the Aurora Borealis, Iceland offers a mesmerizing celestial spectacle with lights dancing across the night sky. The country's dark skies and high latitude create an optimal environment for observing this natural phenomenon. Additionally, Iceland serves as a haven for geothermal activity, boasting numerous geysers and hot springs. Exploring sites such as the Blue Lagoon provides visitors with a first-hand experience of the Earth's dynamic power, characterized by milky blue waters and a soothing mineral-rich environment. The distinctive black sand beaches, formed by volcanic ash and debris transported by glaciers into the ocean, add to the country's allure. Rinisfiara, the most renowned black sand beach located on the south coast, showcases dramatic basalt columns and towering sea stacks. Furthermore, Iceland's expansive landscapes offer ample opportunities for wildlife encounters, including puffins, whales, seals, reindeer, and a diverse array of bird life such as eagles, falcons, and owls. Given the beauty and diversity of these features, it is evident that Iceland is a destination where the beauty of its natural wonders far surpasses the potential threats posed by natural disasters. We can only pray for the best and hope that the forthcoming eruption is controlled. What do you think about the recent events in Iceland? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.